What's up guys, how's it going? And we are back with another episode of British Guy Reacts and today we are reacting to a stadium tour of the World Cup 2026 stadiums. Now I believe this World Cup is taking a place across three countries, one being your very own, well for most of you guys anyway who watch these videos, USA, alongside Mexico and Canada. It's a bit odd to have three countries hosting the World Cup but there's a lot more teams this year so maybe that's the reason why. And we're going to check out the stadiums where these wonderful games are going to be played. If you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, comment down below. Please subscribe, please, please, please subscribe. We need, we need people to start subscribing, guys. Come on, click the button. Okay, let's jump straight in. Let's go. On June 16th, 2022, FIFA announced the 16 host cities and venues for the 2026 World Cup. The tournament, which will be jointly hosted by the United States, Canada, and Mexico, will be the first ever hosted by three countries. Oh, okay. so it's, and it is very with the record weird. 48 countries participating, 16 more than the current amount, it will be the largest World Cup in history. To host the tournament's 80 games, a little record the selected for you guys. 16 venues consist of like we two in Canada, three in Mexico. The continent. Okay, we won't have seen any of the Mexican or Canadian, Canadian, <laughs> Canadian ones. I Mexico don't think. will have three World Cup venues okay. located in Mexico City, Guadalajara, Guadalajara and Monterrey, which will Monterrey. host 10 games together. In Mexico City is the Estadio oh, Azteca, oh, it's home a beautiful to the Mexican stadium Club America, got a real retro Sur, feel to it. The iconic concrete behemoth, That's which beautiful. opened in 1966, has already hosted two World Cup finals in addition to numerous legendary games. With its two tiers of seats, the Ooh. stadium has a capacity of 87,500, making it the largest stadium That's a work in Mexico. Of art. In preparation for the World Cup, this temple of football will be revamped, including inside renovations and a new shopping center just oh, outside okay. of it. I was going to say, don't mess the with the, of this, the actual outside of it. Is the Estadio Akron, home to CD Guadalajara. Opened in 2010, the $250 million stadium has a capacity of okay. 8,000 seats. Built into a man made grass covered hill, ah, it is so meant to resemble unique. an erupting volcano shrouded by clouds. 640 kilometers to the north of this, in Monterrey, lies Estadio. At first, I didn't really like this one, but then after realizing what it actually was, with the grass. It's actually beautiful. Where's it gone? Sorry. Lahara. Opened in 2010. The 200 Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at this. Little grass hill going around it. That's really nice. And this looks kind of like a, a halo. It's so nice that one. $150 million stadium Unique. has a capacity of four. Inside it's a bit boring. Seats. Built into a man-made grass-covered hill, it is meant to resemble an erupting volcano shrouded by clouds. It's nice. 640 kilometers to the north of this, in Monterrey, lies Estadio BBVA, okay. home to CF Monterrey. Opened in 2015, the two-tiered $200 million stadium has a capacity of 51,000. Nicknamed the Steel Giant, it has a stunning backdrop. That, the Cerro I've de seen this on Mountain, Instagram before. Which is located just one kilometer away. That that stadium looks so out of place though in that surrounding, don't you think? Like a like a, just a steel beast as they called it, I think. Look at that mm -hmm. beautiful. Which is located. But then it looks so out of place there. I feel like they should have gone with a different design for that. It's it's a nice design, but it just doesn't really fit in. It looks way too industrial, just one way too modern away. compared to everything else going on there. USA, what have you got? We've probably seen most of these. The United States will have 11 World sure. Cup venues that will host 60 games But it'll be together. interesting to see Five where they are anyway. Five of them are located along the East Coast. 30 kilometers south of Boston is Gillette Stadium. Yeah, we've seen this. the New England Patriots. Opened in 2002 at a cost of $325 million, the three-tiered arena has a capacity of 66,000. Currently undergoing renovations, it will serve as a world-class sports venue okay. by 2026. 270 kilometers southwest of this, just outside of New York City, is MetLife Stadium, home to the New York Giants and Jets. The $2 billion stadium, which opened in 2010, was the most expensive in the world at the time. With four video boards and three tiers of cavernous full surround seats, the enormous stadium has a capacity I mean, that is an awesome 2000. football stadium, like soccer stadium. I know it's not it, that's its purpose, River but that will be great in the World Cup. Is Lincoln Financial Especially Field, in New York. Home to the Philadelphia Eagles. Opened in 2003, the three-tiered $750 million arena has a capacity of 70,000 and boasts excellent views of downtown Philadelphia. 
1070 kilometers southwest of this in Atlanta is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Yeah, we've Home seen pretty much Falcons all of these. In Atlanta United FC. But we're being given Opened different pictures there. The 1.6 billion dollar venue has a capacity of 71,000, which can be expanded to 80,000 for special events. It features a futuristic origami-like exterior, a halo-shaped video board, and a retractable roof that opens and closes like a camera lens. This allows for a climate-controlled environment inside that will come in handy to offset summer. I'm actually so happy you guys got given the World Cup, and I'm not just saying that because a large portion of my audience is American. It's just that whenever you guys get something or you get a hold of something, you fully go for it, and I love that about I love that about America. Like you don't do anything in small amounts. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it properly. You're gonna go over the top with it. It's gonna be massive. I just know it's gonna be massive. And who knows? You might actually have a a decent team, not a good enough team to win the World Cup, but you you could cause some upsets along the way, especially if you play us. We we hate playing you guys. <laughs> so I'm happy that you've got it. I really am. South of this in Miami, it might actually be an amazing Stadium, time for me to go to the Miami Dolphins to America. In 1987, and I can tick off so many of these stadiums stadium with its rectangle in one pot. and four steel spires has a capacity of 65,000. In the central US, three up, venues have I been God, selected. It's going to be expensive. In Kansas City is Arrowhead Stadium, home to the Kansas City Chiefs. Arrowhead, Opened in 1972 not <laughs> at a cost of $279 million, the stadium has a capacity of 76,000. With its revered seating bowl and distinctive shape, it holds a record for the world's loudest crowd roar at 142 decibels. In preparation for the World Cup, the stadium will undergo $50 million worth of renovations to meet FIFA standards. 740 kilometers south of it, what it's in missing? Dallas Fort Worth, is AT&T Stadium, home to the Dallas Cowboys. This one with the Opened in 2009, route. the four-tiered $1.6 billion stadium the slides has a capacity at the top. of 80,000 but can be expanded to 100,000 for special occasions. What does that mean? It features an enormous center display, and like the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, has a retractable roof wait, 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 and wait, 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 wait. environment. Is this, is this just a misleading picture? Wait, sorry. Let's, $1 billion let's go back here. Has a this looks not low, but it looks pretty low to the, to the pitch, to the field. A ball could hit that, you know. No, nah, maybe not. It's actually pretty high in it when I think about it. It's actually really high. <laughs> it just on first glance, it looked like it was pretty low. Well. My it can bad. Be I'm being stupid. To 100,000 for special occasions. It features an enormous center That picture, display, sorry, that picture like looks low. Ben Stadium in Atlanta has a retractable roof and climate-controlled environment. Love a bit of climate control. kilometers south of it in Houston is NRG Stadium, home to the Houston Texans. Opened in 2002, the four-tiered $600 million arena has a capacity of 72,000 and features two large video displays along with a retractable roof. I don't like the outside of that stadium, but it does look nice inside. Along the west coast, the US has three more World Cup venues. In Los Angeles is SoFi Stadium, That's home beautiful. to the Los Angeles SoFi. Rams and Chargers. Opened in 2020 at a cost of over five it's billion beautiful. US dollars, it is the most expensive stadium. I mean, in the world, you've got a tough one to follow. Of it sitting underground, because Qatar just built all new stadiums and they were all of beautiful. To be fair to them, I know there was a lot of human rights issues there. Special events featuring a 360-degree infinity screen and an indoor-outdoor design with a climate-controlled environment. It is a top-class sports arena. 500 kilometers north of it in the San Francisco Bay Area is Levi Stadium, home to the San Francisco 49ers. Opened in 2014, the three-tiered $1.3 billion stadium has a capacity of 68,000. It features a 2,500-square-meter green roof and two large video displays. Lastly, 1,100 kilometers north of it in downtown Seattle is Lumen Field, home to the Seattle Seahawks and Seattle Sounders FC. Opened in 2002 at a cost of $430 million, the two-tiered split-roof venue has a capacity of 72,000 and is the seeing second this one loudest well. stadium in the I'm US. I'm excited to see these Canadian Arrowhead. ones. Here we go. Canada will have two World Cup venues oh, only in two. Toronto and Vancouver that will host 10 games together. Okay. In Toronto, right off Lake Ontario shore, is BMO Field, home to the Toronto Argonauts and Toronto FC. Opened in 2007, the two-tiered $140 million it's stadium like a League has One a football stadium. of 30,000. 
In preparation for the World Cup, though, this will be expanded to. I was going to say, I'm not going to lie, that's Finally, a bit. Finally, 3,400 that... kilometers away in Vancouver is BC okay, Place, fair home enough. to the BC Lions and Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Opened in 1983, the two-tiered $297 really million like dollar stadium has a capacity of 54,000. Well, it's more, it's more like it, you know what I mean? Supported retractable roof That's a cool and center hung video board. Additional info. For the 2026 World Cup, venues will be selected depending on the game. The Canadian and Mexican venues will mostly host group stage games and potentially some round of 16 ones. Meanwhile, the quarterfinals, semifinals, and final will be played in the U.S. However, since most Check of the you guys U.S. venues are configured for American football, many of them will have to be renovated for the World Cup. And while the 16 cities listed are the only ones that will host games, other notable cities, including Washington, D.C., Montreal, Denver, Chicago, and Orlando, will host supportive events such as fan fests. In summary, the 2026 FIFA World Cup will feature some top-class stadiums across no Mexico, the Look US, them. and Canada, a lot of beauty is in uniting there. the global football community together to watch the beautiful game on its largest stage. If you enjoyed this video... I did enjoy the video. Um, I'd say my favorite, honestly, was the first one. Um, the Azteca. What would be my f favorite one? This one. Azul. The iconic... Look at that. That would be my favorite one out of the lot. I'm sorry, guys, that it's in Mexico. But I would also put SoFi in there. Um, SoFi? SoFi? S-O-F-I? I can't remember how you say it. That one as well, the $5 billion stadium. Because that one is incredible. But this one, this is a proper football stadium, you know. Like a proper football stadium. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. So they'd be my two favorites. This would be my actual favorite, though. You guys let me know down in the comments what your favorite one is. Are you going to any games? Are you excited about the prospects of a World Cup in America? Are you annoyed that your stadium is going to have to change a little to, to make way for the, the best sport in the world that is soccer? <laughs> let me know your feelings down below. And please, guys, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you for the next one. Take it easy. Peace.